The P0037 code means the heated oxygen sensor heater control circuit low, bank 1, sensor 2, has a problem. In simple terms, the ECM has detected that the heater inside the downstream oxygen sensor isn't working properly. That heater helps the sensor warm up faster so it can start reading accurately. Bank 1 refers to the side of the engine that contains cylinder 1. On V6 and V8 engines, this helps you know which side of the engine the issue is on. On inline engines like a 4-cylinder, there's only one bank, so it's all considered a bank 1. Sensor 2 means it's the oxygen sensor located after the catalytic converter, also called a downstream oxygen sensor. Its job is to monitor how well the catalytic converter is working, and the built-in heater helps it reach operating temperature faster so it can start sending data sooner. The first cause could be a faulty downstream oxygen sensor. Over time, the built-in heater can burn out or stop working. When that happens, the sensor takes too long to reach operating temperature and the ECM sets the P0037 code. The second cause could be damaged wiring or a poor connection at the oxygen sensor. If the heater circuit wiring is broken, shorted, or corroded, it can't supply the voltage needed to heat the sensor. Check for melted insulation, exposed wires, or corrosion at the connector. The third cause could be a blown fuse that supplies power to the oxygen sensor heater circuit. If the fuse is blown, the heater won't get power at all. It's a quick and easy thing to check before replacing any parts. The fourth cause could be a bad relay that controls the heater circuit. On some vehicles, the oxygen sensor heater is powered through a relay. If that relay fails, either by getting stuck open or having internal corrosion, it can block power from reaching the sensor. The last possible cause is a faulty ECM, but this is rare. If the ECM isn't sending the correct signal or voltage to the sensor heater circuit, it can trigger the P0037 code. Though most of the time, it's one of the other causes listed above. And just so you know, if you plan on replacing the sensor, you'll need an oxygen sensor socket to get it out without messing up the wires. I'll leave the one I use in the description below. If you've dealt with this code before, drop a comment below and share how you fixed it, it could help someone else out.